these presents projects coming out. Oh, okay. which when it's a, yeah. So if you see St. James presents on it, it's typically that I, me and my team produce the record. So uh, and then I might either be featured on the record vocal, with some vocals, or I produced and co-wrote or wrote the record. And so that's what you're seeing. So uh, you you're going to see a lot of different uh, singles being dropped by St. James with the St. James presents moniker on top of it. So stay tuned for videos and music, new music coming probably every week or so for the next few months. So wow. with that being said, yeah, it's going to be crazy. So I'm basically doing the Quincy Jones things as an independent artist. You know what I mean? Quincy Jones, he introduced yeah. you to, 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 to Mia, Tevin Campbell. Remember back in the day when he yeah. was doing that? Yeah. yeah. So, I, so I'm taking a page. I'm taking a page out of, of, of with some old school tactics in a new in a new digital age. That's all I'm trying to do. Right. So Rena Lynn is a, a Filipino American young lady uh, with a beautiful voice, a dope ear and talent. She she co-wrote the record with me, and I'm presenting the record. It's called Suck It Up. Basically, at the time that we shot the video, she was uh, nine months pregnant. It's amazing. So I'm oh, yeah, the love interest yeah. in the video. Yeah, that's what it is. So she said, she's telling me to suck it up because, you know, when women go through pregnancies, men can kind of get in their feelings a little bit more. They can be, they call them uh, sympathy pains. Oh, really? <laughs> <When we> start, <laughs> yeah, when we start acting like, you know, we act like we pregnant, you know what I'm saying? So <laughs> yeah, she's, okay. telling me, she's telling me to suck it up. Just deal with it. I just want to be in love. I want to have this baby. I want to love you. Let's be a family. Get your head together and suck it up, brother. That's basically what it is. And sometimes men can be you know we can be a big babies, so let's be honest. So suck it up, yeah. guys. <laughs> right. Well, we're gonna stop talking and uh, play this single. Suck it up. We'll be right back. Let's get it.
coming up online, or are you doing any uh, events? Uh, yes, I'm. Pro- <clears throat> I, I have another uh, couple of projects coming out under the St. James Presents. My pops, my pops is uh, he's uh, 77 years old. Oh okay. my God! I cannot wait to, I cannot wait to his records drop. Uh, we got a, his newest single is going to be called Simple Man, and we oh. already shot the video for it. It's a beautiful uh, a ballad, and it's so smooth. Got the Ron Isley vibe. And it's, it's, it's a great mm. record. So, so we're gonna probably be doing that and his uh, virtual watch party. So, uh, okay. stay tuned for that in in, in April. April is gonna be a big month. A lot of good things coming up in April. All right then. Thank you for that information. So, is there any other uh, future music projects you uh, besides what you had mentioned earlier? Uh, that you want to mention and throw in there? Uh, there's, uh, I mean, we're just going to continue to keep on putting out. I got a lot of, <laughs> I got a lot of original songs that I have yet to release. So uh, I, I'm, we're still, but we're still really actually working the uh, EP. I mean, we're like only, I'm like five songs into the six. I, I got the video for If You Were Here Tonight. So I'm going to go ahead and launch that probably uh, in the next, uh, probably, I'm going to say end of five months in or no, no no later than the first or second week of April, we'll drop the uh, If You Were Here Tonight video and then push that oh. single as well as like, <laughs> go ahead. I know that's your song. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> so, yeah. So, we're going to be, it's okay. It's okay. We're going to be doing that song and that'll, that'll complete the six song EP. So, I've had a video for every song and I released every, it's, it's oh. an amazing ride. And you got to keep in mind, we only been doing this since July 2020. We're not even a whole year into this EP. And as an independent artist, I could literally milk this, this EP and promote it for well over a year and be okay because my sample size is small because I'm not mainstream yet. So I'm hoping to get Billboard and one day break into the mainstream industry because that's where millions of people find out who you are and everything yeah. just takes off. So, but I'm, but I'm, listen, I'm comfortable where I'm at and what I'm doing. And I, do I do I aspire for greatness and bigger things? Absolutely. But I'm humble and I'm blessed and I'm grateful for where I'm at and what's what's going on currently. And I appreciate all the support out there for everybody out there that's heard me, supported us, and that may hear us and will support us in the future. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. My pleasure. My pleasure. What is uh, your website information? Please give it and your social media information. Go right ahead. Okay, you can find me officially on my official website at www.stjames.com. That's S-A-I-N-T-J-A-I-M-Z.com. Uh, on social media, uh, uh, IG, Instagram at St. James Official. You can find me on Twitter at St. James 916. And uh, on every, every other platform, Facebook as well under St. James. You can Google me uh and search me on any under any uh search engine and you probably uh, i heard i'm trending so that's a good thing so just search st james spelling s-a-i-n-t-j-a-i-m-z and i'm all over the place so look forward to getting to know you and uh interacting with you guys and you know uh, and feel free to reach out to me appreciate it all right you still be doing those uh in the tub uh facebook live videos my hot tub confessions yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Woo. My hot tub is my best, my baby. Like three, t- twice a day, I'm in a hot tub. First thing in the morning, and the last thing at night. And what that does is allow me to decompress. Uh, yeah. This, this industry is a lot of work. It's this is a yeah. hard, tough business, people. So you got to be able to allow yourself to decompress and relax and regroup yeah. in order to deal with and cope with everything you go through. So yeah, I do. I still do the hot tub confessions. And uh, mm-hmm. people love it, so I'm looking forward to making that a podcast at some point. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> that would be so much fun. Yeah. yeah. Keep and doing yeah, it. For Keep sure. doing it. So, <laughs> yes, what is uh, your ultimate desire, which you wish all your fans to get out of this uh, new music project you got going on here with Throwback the Covers Volume 1 EP? What is the ultimate desire you wish? You know, I just really wish, I wish that these songs take you back to a time in your life. Uh, and if you've never, and for, the, for the people over 30, they get it. They understand. They, uh, they, it's just gonna, it's, like you said, memories. People that yeah. are younger than 30, it's, it's introducing you to some of the artists that paved the way that came before me and before uh, the newer artists and to show you that rhythm and blues is not dead. R&B music. I, I'm hoping this EP allows people to rekindle their love for rhythm and blues. 
I mean, I'm talking traditional R&B, not not the current trap soul and, and, and the current R&B, which is great and to some degree and, and, and for the younger generation. But you got to go. You got to remember where you came from. A lot of people baby made babies off these records. So yes. enjoy them. Yes, thank you. Thank you for that. Mm -hmm. And you're more than welcome right now to give a shout out to all the people that have supported you in the making of this new EP, or rather through all your music, any supporters. Go right ahead. I want to start out with my family. They put up with me. You know, they know who they are. They, I, I, they you know, the long nights, the studio sessions, the the, the just all the work that has been put in. I want to shout out my family first and foremost, my children. Uh, I want to thank uh, my team, uh, my engineer, first of all, uh, Brian Porter out of Studio C here in Sacramento, California, my producer, Ivan Johnson, uh, my right-hand man, my VP of A&R, my guy, uh, Kaleo Ross, my pop, who's a writer in A&R, uh, Lisa MacArthur's my uh, marketing and promotions director, and last but not least, for sure, I want to thank my guy, A.D., out of Miami, uh, Kingdom Marketing and Promotions, man. I met this brother. Uh, through a mutual friend of a friend, and him and I are like, uh, we're like, I don't know, Mutt and Jeff at this point. That's, that's, <laughs> that's before your time. That's before your time, Brady. You don't know about you don't know nothing about Mutt and Jeff. <laughs> so, but I thank you, Ad, and and his family, and everybody that's involved, and 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 so many music people, uh, some of, so many of the independent artists that I've met, and some of the people that have really been uh, great, like supporting an independent artist, man. Uh, Radio, digital radio, uh, IBA. You got the uh, Indie Soul Cafe for the for the newcomer award. I thank you guys so much for all the support. The DRT Digital Radio Tracker. So many people. Thank you everybody, and I will continue to continue to be humble and grateful, and to continue to try to put out good music and content. And thank okay. you, Brenda, for having me on your show. Oh, my pleasure. Let's give everyone an applause. Let's <laughs> <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> So as we are almost coming towards the end of our show, uh, it's been so much fun, Stanley. Uh, you're so much fun. I will be playing two <laughs> other tracks you. of yours. Uh, give us some detailed information on the stories behind these three tracks. Baby, Come Back, Rock With uh -huh. You, and also Who Do You Love, featuring Kaleo <laughs> Ross. So, yeah, um, Kaleo. Yeah, Kaleo, yes. Okay, well, give us some details about behind those three tracks. And uh, go right ahead. Okay, baby, come back. Come man, who doesn't love that record? Player, yeah, yeah. the original uh, original artist was Player. Man, them boys was bad. So you know, I always loved that record, and I realized no one had touched that record in a way that I kind of flipped it a little bit. I wanted to speed it up a little bit, and give it a little bit more bounce, but at the same uh -huh. time, as a cover yeah. as a cover record, you got to stay true to the to the to the record. So I wanted yeah. to do that as well, which I did. Uh, uh, who do you love specifically? Bernard Wright, the great Bernard Wright, underrated. This has some great records out, and uh, I want to pay homage to Bernard Wright. Uh, of course, LL did a version of it with the with the hip hop yeah. version. So, but the R and B, I just wanted to do it do it do the Bernard some justice. Um, and what was the last record? I got Rock <laughs> with <laughs> Rock, Okay, how can we how can we forget Bobby Brown, Babyface? You know that that collabo. So you know. Uh, I love me some Bobby Brown forever will go down and as you know as of course according to Whitney Houston he was the king of R&B so you know what can I say and she, the yeah. woman spoke you know what I'm saying so that was what's up and I pay homage to Bobby Brown the great baby face and uh, I just wanted to make sure the record w had a little more bounce and, and I flipped it a little bit I, I think I like how we, what, what we did with it and I'm excited about the whole EP all those records were classics to get them justice man that's all you can wish for because they're listen because even if i'm singing somebody else's record those songs are already hit so as long as i do them justice they're going to stay hit that's just the truth yes yes that's true that is true and i want to thank you for uh inventing yourself creating yourself and uh bringing back memories and keeping r&b so at its at its chamber and um i want to thank you and uh, I appreciate you coming back on my show. I love your style. I love the action. You. You're a man of your word. And, and you keep it going. You just keep going. And so Thank you I so much. Thank that means a lot. I appreciate it. You're always welcome to come back, you know. You know that, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, any, hey, listen, anytime you see something or hear something you like and you want to have me back, I will gladly oblige. Absolutely. All anytime, right. okay? I mean that. All right. And at this time, any words of encouragement you want to give, St. James, 
to all the persons that 